Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this DaVinci Resolve video I want to show you guys how you can edit two videos separately on different timelines inside of the same DaVinci Resolve project. So this may be useful if you want to create separate sequences for a larger project and then merge them all together later at the end, or if you just want to have one instance of DaVinci Resolve open but want to be editing uh, two separate projects at the same time. So to start off, I'm going to grab this waterfall clip and I'm going to put it in our timeline like normal. And when we do that, timeline one pops up in the top right hand corner. We can click on that and it'll say timeline one. But where would timeline two be? Well, we can create a new timeline by going to file and then new timeline. And then that would allow you to create a completely separate timeline that you can export separately from the first one. So I'll just call this second project here. And now if we click above the inspector preview, we can select the timeline we're currently working on. And what you'll notice is that when we change that here, it also reflects in the timeline down below. So whatever is in the preview is also the timeline that's going to show down below. Now, if you want a more convenient way of navigating between your timelines inside of the same project, you can click here for the timeline view options. And there is an option here for stacked timelines. If you enable that, what you'll see right above the timeline is that we start having tabs exactly like you would have on a web browser. So I can hit plus here, which is going to create a separate timeline section. And I can click on this drop down and select any of the timelines which we've already created. Uh, once again, if you want to create a new timeline, just control N or go to the file menu. And so now we have two different timelines side by side with each other. So if I want to drag the second clip and the road intersection clip, I can drag that in right there, move the audio tracks down a little bit. And now it's as easy as just going between these two different timelines with a simple left click on the tab and being able to edit them individually, navigating between them at will. And of course, exactly as you would expect, any edits you make to one timeline have no impact on the other one. So, you know, if I cut it up there on the second project, that only remains in the second project. So that should be exactly what we're looking for here. So with that said, it's worth mentioning that on other tabs, you can also go between the timeline. So on the color tab, for instance, you can see up here where it says timeline one, we can select timeline or the second project timeline rather, if we want to change between which timeline we're currently editing the color on. And of course, if you have multiple clips, they'll show down here and you can just kind of go between them. So to kind of demonstrate that, I'll split this clip in half and you can see that separates into two different clips. On the Fairlight tab, we can also choose our timeline with this little drop down. And then just by going between this, we can work on whichever timeline we care about at the moment. And on the Deliver tab, where it may be a little bit more important because you want to export the right timeline at the right time, uh, you have the same uh, timeline preview window. So we can change this to the second project and whichever timeline we currently have selected up there is the one that is going to be exporting. So if you look down here uh, at the top of the timeline and the deliver tab, it will say render entire timeline. So that's going to be referring to whichever timeline we have up here currently second project and then we would just export that as normal uh, one thing you can choose to do is to add entire timelines to the render queue and then we go to the second timeline and we add that to the render queue and by doing that we can export both of our timelines at the same time so if i wanted to do that i would just hold shift down and left click select these and then do a start render which will export them with whatever settings we need. So that's going to be it for this video on how to do separate timelines inside of the same DaVinci Resolve project. I hope this video helped some of you guys out and I will see you guys in my future content.